Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you. I am going to be doing a walkthrough through my new house that my boyfriend and I purchased back in April. So it is just a total walkthrough. I kind of show you every room, room by room, and then what I like about it, what we are planning to change, and we've started renovating that space ourselves. We're doing a lot of work ourselves to save money. Um, so make sure that you are subscribed and that you have hit the notification bell so that you can see those renovation videos as they pop up. It's going to be a series. I'm very excited about it. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. And uh, please like this video, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Hey guys, so welcome to our new house. We just closed today and I'm super excited to show you because I absolutely love this place so much. So, the front door is around the corner, and this leads to the backyard, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, so this is the living room. It's nice and big, has a fireplace and some vaulted ceilings. And then come over here. Okay, this is the kitchen. It's nice, good size. Love these windows. So we're probably going to paint the walls in here a different color right now. It's pink. I kind of, I'll talk about all the things I wanted to do. Um, the pantry. Want to redo the countertops, but I might do like a DIY epoxy faux marbling thing. And then the cabinets I was thinking about painting, but I actually might leave them the way they are and like just stain or like sand them and like refinish them because they actually don't look too bad. Um, we definitely want a new sink and maybe a backsplash if we have room in the budget. And then a new refrigerator, and this one will go in the garage. Say hi, Jimmy. Hi. We brought Jimmy. We literally just closed today. Our realtor just left. She's actually coming back because she left this sign. So she's coming back for that. And then, and that's the patio. I'll go out there in a minute. Robert kicked a hole in this because this is actually coming down. So this is what happens when you buy a house on the first two seconds. <laughs> um, and he can't wait for it to come down. <laughs> so it's got a hole in it. But it's not going to be here because it's really just kind of blocking a really important spot, a really important place. Um, just like to the bathroom and it just like makes the space feel smaller. And here's a closet. Okay, so here is a closet, cl coat closet. There's some old um, carpeting in there, some extra light bulbs that'll come in handy. And then this is going to be our office space. This nice bay window. I want to do like a little um, day bench thingy here with some storage underneath. It's got a walk-in closet, which I kind of wish this was in the bedroom, but... It's still nice to have. So here's the walk-in closet. And then, by the way, we're ripping up all the carpet and putting in uh, vinyl plank flooring. And then, this is one of the bathrooms. So we actually really like the color so far, so we're just gonna leave that. And that's got this like nice detail right here. Um, maybe eventually we'll update this countertop, but it's, it's all right for now. And then there's another closet here. We can put our towels and things, linens in. And then here's the bedroom. I, I'm filming, babe. So this is the bedroom. It's getting kind of dark in here. It might need more lighting, but... 
So this is another porch that comes like right off. Um, can I open this? Let's see. Here we go. So yeah, this is right off the bedroom. This is our backyard. We have another porch over there. That's the kitchen. Here we go. And then we have this bench, which Robert wants to rip up and maybe put a hot tub there eventually. That would be pretty cool. And then going back in, we have two closets. I think this one will probably be mine. This one is the same size and that one will be Robert's. The bed will probably go here again. We're going to redo um, the floors and all of the ceilings in the entire house have this popcorn ceiling. We're going to scrape that down. And this is one of the best features in the house, I think, is like this skylight. It's super awesome. Um, not the biggest tub in the world, but I feel like it'll be really cool to like take a bath in here. Nice big sink area. We have some cabinet space. Again, I really like um, the color in here. That's fine for now. I like it. And then this is our garage, which it's really dark in here, but Robert is up in the attic because we are thinking about... For what? Uh, for anything? Do, like to do anything that would be like a permitted live loads. Okay, but we could space. still do a loft. No, so there's not enough space for, for lofts. Oh. It's going to be storage. Okay, well, attic is for storage. I'm sorry, Jimmy. This is where our washer and dryer are going to go. Um, there's, I guess they just didn't have room in the house. <laughs> Robert's leg and then yeah this is this is a nice upgrade for us to have a garage it's not the biggest garage but it is a garage and it's gonna be great for our mountain bikes and like tools we're gonna have like a workbench right here and then that is pretty much it we also are probably gonna paint the walls but we haven't decided on a color so the biggest, biggest tasks ahead of us are going to be painting the walls, redoing the floors, and, um, and the popcorn ceiling. We're going to do the ceiling first, and I think we might get this room done by a contractor, but the other rooms I want to try to do them myself because it's like a flat surface. I don't think, and then the ceiling's not that high. I think I can do it. And then... What else? And then we are on the fence about trying to do the flooring ourselves, but I kind of really want to at least try it because I think we can save a ton of money that way and have more left over for other things. And yeah, so I will get, let you guys, oh, and I didn't show you guys this part of the house. So this is the backyard. And this is like the biggest, oldest tree ever. So this is the fence that we have. Like, when you walk in, you see this fence. And yeah, I love this porch so much. We can string up tea lights. I can have like a little herb garden. This one's kind of leaning. We might have to repair that, but... Everything is really functional in this house. Everything's in great shape. And so I think we're going to finish our sparkling wine and just enjoy being in our new house. Jimmy is excited. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that. Yum.